Welcome to Podcasting Smarter, the podcast for podcasters by podcasters. Podcasting Smarter is the official podcast from Podbean, featuring podcasting interviews, best practices, and helpful tips. We're here to give you the tools, resources, product updates, and news to help you get started podcasting and keep your podcast growing. Hello and welcome to Podcasting Smarter. This is Norma Jean Belenke, Podbean's Head of Events. And today we're joined by Kati Beauvais, the innovative force behind the podcast, The French Instinct. Broadcasting from Brittany in France, Katie has transformed her skills as a language educator into a flourishing podcast, significantly aided by her strategic use of social media. Stay with us as we delve into Kati's journey and most importantly, stick around because we'll be revealing practical tips on leveraging social media to amplify your podcast's reach and engagement. Get ready for an episode packed with actionable advice you won't want to miss. Stay tuned, and here we go. You've been dedicated to releasing weekly episodes for quite a bit of time, so I'd love to talk about growing the podcast. How has the consistency of releasing episodes the same day of the week, every week, how has that contributed to the success and growth of your podcast? Well, at the beginning, I think it was really important because I wanted my listeners to understand what my podcast was about and how it could be different and how it could really help them improve their French. So during several months, I released one episode a week. At the beginning, I even released two episodes. So they could really see what they could expect from the podcast. <laughs> and after that, I've not been releasing an episode every week. Sometimes I have had some stuff in my life and I was too busy. So maybe I started to release one episode every two weeks when it was really, really difficult for me, maybe one episode a month. But Generally, I release one episode a week and I really try to keep that on. <laughs> and when I know I won't be able to release an episode a week, I tell my listeners, if I know during two or three weeks I will take a break, then I say it in the show. So they know that they can expect the show back in three weeks. And also releasing the episode the same day of the week always the same day. It's important because you're expecting the show. I release the episode on Friday. So every Friday they know there will be an episode, except if I've said I'd be on a break. And that's really important, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And I think also having that constant conversation with your audience saying, hey, this week there's not going to be an episode, but I'm telling you why, I'm telling you for how long. And we'll be back the following week. So stay tuned. I think that's really important as well. And, and we've in a previous episode talked about really how you've been able to monetize the podcast, which is incredible. But I want to continue talking about how you've grown the podcast as well. So at the beginning, you leveraged Instagram to enhance your podcast reach, right? In terms of growing the podcast, in terms of reaching intermediate French speakers, because the French instinct isn't a podcast for beginners, right? It's not a podcast for beginning. French speakers. And so as a result, what is super brilliant about it is that everybody listening already is serious about learning French, right? And wants to learn at a deeper level. They're already part of that community. So I think that that's really important as well. And when you were building out your podcast audience, when you were starting to grow it, when you had just launched, how did the fact that it was an intermediate language podcast help? But also what were the strategies that you found most effective for engaging with your audience and growing your podcast through social media? Well, I had started an Instagram account. So it was not a strategy at the beginning, but I was sharing like everyday stories in Instagram. And I started to talk about my podcast, about what I was creating. Every day I was telling about my everyday life and telling, well, I'm creating a podcast and that will be helpful for you because of this, because of that. And so my followers were already expecting the show. So when I released it, 
they, they went to listen to it. And for those who liked the show, then they kept on listening to it. And I also kept on sharing on Instagram the stories about what I was creating. And now I'm not so active on Instagram anymore because many things have changed with the algorithm and everything. But that was almost four years ago, three and a half years ago. And it was really helpful being able to communicate with my future audience <laughs> and also asking, what did you think about the latest episode? Uh, do you have questions? And so people would send me direct messages on Instagram to tell me and to ask me things. And that was really helpful and also motivating for me because I didn't feel lonely <laughs> starting the podcast. I knew I had listeners and I knew they liked what I was doing. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think it's something where you brought your audience along for the ride in terms of that podcast creation, right? So they got to be part of you creating the podcast, which I think is a really important aspect of the success that you've created as well. And we have talked about how you monetized on last week's episode. So for everybody listening, go back and check that out because it's a really cool story of how you've monetized the podcast and how the French Instinct is really offering you a lot of financial stability, which is very, very cool. And it's a unique podcast. So what do you believe sets the French Instinct apart for French learners? And how do you keep the content fresh and appealing and keep people coming back week after week? Well, I think there are several ingredients in my podcast. For example, emotions, positive vibes. <laughs> I always try to be positive in my podcast because I want people to listen to the show, not only to perfect their French, but also because it brings them joy. It's like in French, we talk about bubble. If you're in your bubble, it's like, you forget everything about what's happening outside. You forget your problems and you're in your French bubble <laughs> listening to me. And I put music so you can relax and you can feel the emotions about the stories about what I'm talking about. And so emotions are really, really important and authenticity. I talk in a very natural way and I talk about my everyday life, about my experience with language learning, but I tell everything like a story. I'm not explaining things. Usually teachers explain things so you can learn. You learn a lot of things about the language, about the culture, but you don't acquire the language. <laughs> so I tell stories and I want people to reflect, to reflect about the way they're learning. And also another important thing for me is talking about my experience with language learning and my experience with being an expat in other countries. So I talk about French and French culture, but also a lot about other culture and other languages. So it's something really multicultural and so people who love my show usually are interested so people who love my show are usually interested in other cultures they love traveling and it's not just about French because I want to talk about things that matter to me I put a hundred percent of my personality into every episode and that's how I can get to people who would like to work with me, who would like to perfect their French with me because they feel like they know me. They know my personality. They know what I like. <laughs> they know what is important to me. And that way we can feel connected. Yeah, absolutely. And we talk more about how people can work with you and how you build that into the monetization of your show. So everybody out there, check out last week's episode with Kati. Firstly, though, can you share if I'm using Podbean with our directory integrations and features has impacted the growth and the visibility of the French Instinct? 
Yeah. Well, when I started, I didn't know anything about <laughs> podcasting. I only knew how to edit because I was already editing videos, but podcasting was a new world for me. <laughs> and using Podbean has been very easy. I haven't had any issue to create my show to release the episodes, even though I was a total beginner <laughs> in podcasting. It was very easy, for example, to share every episode on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. Actually, most of my listeners are on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So it's very easy. And also I can share on social media very easily. So that's the first part, <laughs> why it has been so helpful working with Podbean. And I also had the possibility to get my show featured. I filled a form to ask. And when my show was featured on Podbean, that helped me a lot. I could see the downloads, they grew a lot in a month. It was incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And like you were saying, the directory integrations are one of the main features for podcasters that's really important. You want it to be easy, right? It can't be too complicated. You want to see those stats of where your audience is listening from. And as well, I think like you said, what's really important is that people were able to find your show. And we do feature podcasts here at Podbean. So we'll have the link here in today's show notes for anybody that wants their podcast featured. It's definitely something that we offer here at Podbean. And I think we featured you on a list of French podcasts at the time. And so it was something where it really fit into showcasing a lot of the different podcasts that we have here at Podbean. And as a podcaster, it's also really important to not be afraid to ask for promotion, right? To not be afraid to say, hey, I have this great show to a directory or to a company where people listen to podcasts, right? To your host, because sometimes there are those opportunities. And especially at Podbean, we have a lot of those opportunities for our podcasters. So for everybody out there who's wondering, hey, how can I be featured? How can my podcast be featured? We'll have the link here in the show notes for today's episode as well. Thank you so much for joining us on Podcasting Smarter. Thank you, Norma, for the invitation. It has been really great to be here with you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Podcasting Smarter. If you have any podcasting questions or want to get in touch, send us an email at podcastingsmarter at podbean.com. Thanks so much and happy podcasting. Podcasting Smarter.